Hey guys, um, right well as it's quite a nice day today um, I thought I would uh, have a bit of a tidy up in my garage which I've done and I thought hmm, might be interesting for some folk to do a little bit of a tour of my garage and what tools I've got and you know how I've come to collect them and so on over the years <laughs> so yeah um, well the garage if I stand back here is 20 foot wide by 20 foot deep so it's square um, get two cows in quite easily but I only I only put the Mustang in here at the moment um, yeah I've got some racking down each side um, <clears throat> and just a collection of tools that uh, belong to side. my grandfather and um, yeah, some just seem to have collected loads over the years so I've tried to keep things reasonably in order um, although I pretty much can find everything Sometimes I do misplace stuff, but I sort of try and keep stuff sorted to a reasonable level. Um, this this cabinet here has got like that's all my paint paints and rust protection and stuff like that. Abrasive brushes, drill fittings to fit on power drills. Some of this stuff's my wife's <laughs> as well. Then we've got tins of paint, household stuff, household stuff, vacuum cleaner. And then th all these boxes here contain specialist tools. Um, I've got a, a a massive set of taps and dies in there, in this box here. Um, I've got a set of uh, pullers at the back there, special hydraulic pullers. Um, yeah, uh, hot air gun, screwdriver kits, all sorts of bits and bobs in those boxes. Then above, this is all my potions and lotions. Um, cleaning, cleaning stuff, WD-40 stuff. I use electronic stuff, wiring, um, petrol cans. Yeah, and then I've got this unit here, which is full of um, odds and sods, tire pressure stuff, Jeep wheel nuts, Jeep LPG parts, idle control, automotive bulbs. So I can just replace any bulb as and when I want to. LED bulbs, I've got a selection of LEDs in there, batteries, I can pretty much put my hand on, on anything in here, copper fittings, spark plugs, radio removal clips, you get the picture, just loads of miscellaneous connectors, bullet connectors, so yeah, I can pretty much do tackle most jobs with without having to go out I've got I've pretty much got all the stuff I need auto fuses one of the guys off the forum was grateful for that collection recently eyelets all electrical connections um, what have we got metric uh, UNF UNC taps metric taps sump plugs welding tips grub screw or copper copper fittings Rub screws, sir clips, selection of sir clips, clevis pins, stella pins. Don't know if you're familiar with stella pins. Um, they look like that, and in there there's every size you can, you can think of, from you know, large to small. Split pins. So yeah, I've, I've got a fair bit of stuff looking around the place. Um, moving on, uh, buckets for oil changes, pipes, bits of pipes. This is what any good garage I think needs. It's, um, you know, stuff, <laughs> just stuff. Tape, double sided tape, different types, masking tape, insulation tape, oh, tape for sticking number plates on, duct tape, the famous duct tape. You can't get anywhere without that. Few car parts up there, hot melt gun, more miscellaneous stuff. Then we've got my our um, uh, car, you know, for working on the car, so um, stuff for you know health and safety, really. Axle stands, cleaning, keeping the workshop clean, keeping myself clean, manual. Um, there's all my Steeder stuff there that came in the boxes. And then I've got a selection here of nuts and bolts, M6, 
M8, M10, M12. They're all in there, all nuts and bolts of all different sizes, plus a mixture in there that I've collected over the years. Oils and lubricants, all down there. Uh, I've got a parts washer and my MP3 player, which when I'm spending time in here I listen to quite a lot. Again, lotions and potions, all cleaning stuff. Uh, um, then, oh yeah, this is worth looking at, trolley jacks. Um, yeah, let's drag one of these around the other side of the car. Which is really good. Okay, um, like a lot of people on the forums have been saying, you know, some of the jacks are too high to get under the cars. Um, well, this is a um, one from Costco here in the UK. It's an aluminium jack. I think, I don't know if it's still available or not, but I've bought two of them. They're so good. Um, and I, my car is lowered, but I also have the Steeder jacking rails on. I don't know if you, you can just see them there, I think. Yeah. Um, but this jack quite easily This jack quite easily goes underneath and there. It goes quite a way on. It goes way further than it needs to. Um, and that's with a lowered car, so yeah, and with jacking rails. Um, so yeah, that's uh, there. You go. We're on the jacking rail there. No problem at all. So th th I can recommend that this type of jack for any any um, Mustang that's lowered. So as I say, I've got I've got two of them, so I can jack up from each side. So a pretty good pretty good piece of the kit, apart from. These rubbers came off, um, but anyway, I'll have to glue them back in or something, I suppose. So yeah, um, so there's, there's the jacks. So moving around the garage, uh, I have my whiteboard, so I just keep notes on there, wheel nut torques, tyre pressures, stuff like that, because I've got a Jeep, or well, the wife's got a Jeep, I've got a Yaris and the Mustang. And then there's a trailer that we use, so I like to keep an eye on, you know, tyre pressures and stuff like that. So I just write it all on the board. Um, fire extinguisher, I think, is important to keep in the garage. Uh, welder. That's my MIG welder. It's a really, really good welder that I bought second hand. And I use it with the proper gas. And, uh, yeah, had some good results with that, with uh, making stuff and fabricating and so on. And then there's my workbench, which I made myself, just out of some old racking and an old kitchen worktop. Um, served me well for years. Compressor. I think every garage should have a compressor. Um, again, for tools and just you know cleaning stuff down with airlines and things like that. So that's a good compressor again that I bought second hand. My Mustang wheels stored under the bench for now. Then we get to the bench and we have the bench grinder. Again, if you're going to do any welding, fabricating type work, you need a you need a, a bench grinder, a linishing belt and a pedestal drill with a nice vise on it and a, a decent vise. Yeah, that's that's an old vise that belonged to uh, my my grandfather and uh, yeah, it still works. <laughs> Don't make them like that nowadays. Um, yeah, that's it for the bench really. Um, then we get to the first toolbox. Just got miscellaneous tools in here really. There's spanners all on the walls. Uh, levers. I know where everything is pretty much. Inspection lamps. Temperature heat gun. gave me that. Uh, yeah, just miscellaneous fittings and fixtures, measuring stuff, um, all in there. Uh, verniers, micrometers, digital micrometer, 
um, calipers, all sorts of measuring gear in there. Um, grips, grips and pliers, um, oil filter removers, plastic tools, fittings for removing, you know, body trim and so on. And then in the bottom here, I've got my Dewalt power stuff, um, which is really good kit to be fair. Got an impact gun and uh, a couple of drills in there and some air, air tools as well to work with the compressor. And moving around again, I've got my main toolbox here. This is one that I've had for a long time. Um, I've got all my impact sockets, screwdrivers, they're all they're all sorted into Phillips and flat blades. Um, yeah, Phillips in there. Knives and cutters. Um, then we get to specialist deep sockets. Everything sorted. So I know where everything is. More sockets. Wrenches. Uh, quarter, three eighths, and half inch wrenches. Um, Allen keys, pliers, punches, chisels, soldering kit, or soldering irons, and wire, uh, or wiring stuff for making up my own wiring looms. To the bottom unit we've got all uh, breaker bars, torque wrenches, um, heavy duty stuff and on the wall there I've got some cheetah bars that I made as well. Welded up some steel and made some cheetah bars for, for the real heavy stuff. Hammers and mallets, all different types. Oh just old crap in there, that's just, a, just stuff that I just chuck in because I don't want to chuck it away. Um, but it's, it hardly ever gets used, but sometimes it does. There's all my PPE stuff, um, gloves, earplugs, safety goggles, um, gloves for keeping your hands clean, everything's in there. And then just uh, again, just a bit of a rubbish old jaw, drawer with um, you know, battery charger and some old drill bits and an old electric drill which doesn't get used anymore because the battery ones are so good. And moving around again, magnetic tray, that's always useful um, for, for when you're working on the car to drop nuts and bolts in so they don't go missing everywhere. Power wash, hose pipe, dustbin, always have a dustbin in your workshop. And then there's my little hobby lathe, um, a little hobby lathe and milling machine. Uh, which yeah I use and there's a little bit of stock on the wall there that people have given to me or I've bought for little specific jobs bits of aluminium and bits of steel and there's a lot more on this rack here as well with tooling lathe mostly lathe toolings um, yeah, that's a, a moving uh, centre point um, yeah just bits and bobs in there really different chucks um, Different fittings for the tail stock here, and uh, and then on the on the rack in here I've got um, parallels and uh, a steady vise uh, collets for the milling for the milling head. Yeah, uh, another radio, um, and most importantly, what I've what I've got is that I've really uh, spent a lot of t effort doing is lighting. Get the lighting right. I've spent a fair bit of effort getting all that in and uh, being able to see what you're doing is a big advantage so yeah there's my old Mustang exhaust up in the loft there lots of other Mustang bits and bobs up there as well that have been taken off the car so yeah there we go exit door so I thought you might be interested in a little tour of my garage and uh, there it is um, another fire extinguisher down there um, always a little bit paranoid about fire. I used to work as a safety officer 
in a factory. Uh, that was my main job. And um, yeah, I was always paranoid about fire. And uh, because once it once it happens, everything's gone. Everything is lost. And uh, that would really that would really hurt. Um, I, I can't understand how anybody could work in a garage without having a fire extinguisher to hand. I just think it's crazy. So there we go. A uh, little safety tip there for you all. Hope you enjoyed my little tour of my garage. And um, yeah, start your own collection of tools and uh, keep them tidy. They'll last you a lifetime. Okay, guys, see you all again. Bye now.